It was at that moment I realized the other man had taken the wrong baby. Then your Masumi Arakawa's son. Yeah. I dreamed that it's 40 years ago. On that cold New Year's Eve night, Akan is there. And she's about to give birth to her baby. She gives birth in Shangri-La. In the dream, it's Masato who ends up being born in that soap land. Did Arakawa son know I was his son all along? Damn it! Why did he? Fucking damn it! Hey, what's going on with you, man? Everyone's worried. I am too. Don't be. I just gotta settle something. What? With who? Ryo Aoki. Who else? But how? We don't even know where he is. Get Kume to tell me. Where is the bastard? He'll know! Okay, okay. My guess is he's probably giving a speech somewhere. Maybe he's at the Bleach Japan office? Yeah. Most likely the Haku Ryo building. So that's where I'm going. But really? Well, uh, we're going too then. We were just gonna call you. They're all Omi Alliance men. Not that they'll admit it. Are they just staring at us? Yeah, and more of them keep showing up. I don't like this. Yeah, I don't think they like us much either. Great. Then we all want the same thing. Hey, we're leaving! Let's just stay out of each other's way! Yo, if you want to just sit there, go for it. But I'm coming through! <laughs> nice. We're skipping right to the good part. Well... Quit gawking and bring it on already! The other code is... The battle is on! Watch me. Let's go! Get serious. Ore, ore. I'm not backing down. Yarn down. I got Take this. this. Right Take this! Okay. Too easy, I'm afraid. 
I feel the stats going up. <laughs> Moving up in the world. Yes. I'm getting stronger. Look at me go. Hey. Okay. <laughs> hey, Harry Chan. When's your birthday? Hmm? Oh, it's April 7th. Oh, yeah? And what's your favorite food? Hey, he's not flirting with her, is he? Cute girls are kind of his downfall, and Eri Chan definitely fits the bill. All right, I got it. Eri Chan, you're a Black Panther. Huh? A Black Panther? That's a little fortune telling trick that gives you an animal based on your birthday and interests. I'm a Chihuahua myself. Ooh, and hey, you and I are a good match. Holy shit, is he really using the oldest trick in the book? Right? Fortune-telling flirting is really dating him. Mmm, actually, I prefer pandas. Wouldn't you rather be a panda? Huh? Well, I, I don't know about that. I mean, that's not really what I'm getting at. Oh, that's too bad. Ah. Wow, talk about striking out. And a chihuahua? Seriously? Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Hey, yeah. Yo. Anyway, me, you attacked us. Well, you're the ones that served Sawa Shirohana to the cops, ain't you? Why'd you even come here? What the hell's your problem? I need to talk to Kume. Where is he? Huh? Fuck if I know. Eat shit, asshole. I said, where is he? Uh, uh, Better hurry up and answer. Cool it, Ichiban! That's too much! Spit it out! Where's Kume? <sighs> Still don't want to talk? Think you're real tough, huh? Well, I'm just getting started. <sighs> I bet I could punch you a hundred times before I even get winded. How about you count them for me? I'll take over once you black out. <sighs> Answer my question. 
Where's Kume? <laughs> Have it your way! Not my fault if your face caves in! Okay! He ain't in Ijincho no more. He went to Kamurocho. What? Why Kamurocho? Remember how you pushed him into that van? Well, he went crying to his mama for help. That's Ryo Aoki now. Kume's gonna wind to Aoki that he can't campaign without more security. <laughs> what a spineless coward. He really thinks he's fit to win a national election. All right, well forget Kume. Take me to Ryo Aoki. I can't do that. Even if I wanted to. You killed Arakawa-san. You killed Chairman Hoshino. I answered you. I told you. Everything I know. The whole city's been turned into a hellhole. And I'm still punching my way through you useless fucking grunts. What's it gonna fucking take? Ichiban. Ichiban. Shut up. I just need to talk to him. Masato Arakawa and I need to have some fucking words. He has some shit he needs to answer for. <laughs> Who the hell? You? Why are you in Eugene Show? I was just passing through. Passing through my ass. You helped us out in Osaka, I think. You got a name, big guy? How do you know Arakawa-san? My past isn't what's relevant here. Huh? I don't have the luxury of living out in the open anymore. But that gives me access to things most people miss. Like what? Like how Ryo Aoki's next move will be right here in Ijincho. Huh? What's his next move? I was going to tell you that. But not anymore. What? I don't fuck around, man. Just tell me! I can't say I really feel like it. After what I just saw from you. Well, I can't say I'm feeling your tone right now, man. Who fucking died and made you king? My tone? You're the one who was beating up a guy who couldn't even fight back anymore. It shouldn't take a king to tell you that was uncalled for. <sighs> The hell is this next move the young master's gonna make? Spit it out! You're too blind with rage right now to understand it anyway. But I'll give you a chance. Come to Komi Jewel after the sun sets. I'll be waiting. Komi Jewel? Songwe is currently taking measures to restore Komi Jewel's surveillance system. But she doesn't know when exactly it'll be back online. Thank you. <laughs> Crazy how similar you are. Hmm? Pardon me? A few years back, I met a man who looked just like you. But then I saw him die with my own eyes. Oh. Sounds almost... like a dream, doesn't it? I don't think so. I'd heard rumors he employed a body double. I take it that's you. Memories, dreams... Can either really be trusted? Enough riddles. To become a man's shadow, your body and mind must be united with his for the rest of your life. In turn, a shadow will be born from me someday. A shadow with the same commitment. So you see, Jungi Han is more an immortal entity than he is a man. <laughs> I get it. I don't. Do you know each other or not? We don't. But it's safe to say we share an acquaintance. <laughs> Small damn world, that's for sure. 
Tell me about it. So what was the thing about going to Comey Jewel? What's over there? Just be there if you care about anything I have to say. It's up to you. So, are you saying you didn't have anything to do with the Serio clan patriarch's death? Of course I didn't. A flat-out denial, huh? What if the public starts to doubt you? The public's rumor mill doesn't concern me. So, just to be clear, we won't find any evidence you were involved, and Sawashiro's lips are sealed, because a man in prison never talks. Even though you ordered him to do it, I got all that right? Is that how you expect me to interpret this? Yes. And lighten up a bit, will you? You need to understand. I don't want to cause my own police commissioner any undue stress. Well, can't say you're succeeding there. The situation is getting more shaky with every briefing. The whole damn Omi Alliance just fell apart, for goodness sake. Out of nowhere. And it makes me think... That you were never really in control of Masumi Arakawa to begin with. Arakawa has already been dealt with. Okay, but wouldn't Sawashiro just take his place? Unless that was yet another miscalculation. I wouldn't ask so many irrelevant questions if I were you. I know you have your concerns, but you need to relax. I have eyes on everything. Do you have eyes on all the Omi and Kamarocho who are now a bunch of unaffiliated, pissed-off thugs? With Arakawa and Sawashiro out of the picture, who's gonna rein them in? I haven't decided yet, but I will. No need to worry. But... That said, I do need to keep my distance from law enforcement right now. Optics and all. I'm sure you understand. So from now on, do not barge in here without my permission ever again, Horinuchi-san. It will not be tolerated. Says the guy who barged into national politics without anyone's permission whatsoever, and then made himself party chair. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You wanted to be consulted on that? Trust me, that wouldn't have changed anything. No one has enough power to stop me. We could have at least given you some advice. Maybe something along the lines of those who seek power are not worthy of it. <laughs> but you're right. It probably wouldn't have mattered. Bastard ought to learn to respect his governor, huh? You want me to teach him a couple of things before he becomes a problem? <laughs> Don't do anything drastic. He'll ruin my fun. <laughs> Your fun? He's gonna live the rest of his life at my beck and call. <laughs> but he doesn't know it. And I'm savoring every moment of that. Huh, I see. All right. By the way... Kume came up from Ijinsho to beg you for help. He's whining about lack of security on his campaign trail. <laughs> okay, that's my purview. I'll handle it. As for your purview, how's that little task I gave you coming? I already made arrangements in Ijinsho. You won't be able to contact me until it's all over. <laughs> I know a governor's not used to hearing that, but I hope you understand. Ishiura. Sir? You may just have what it takes to be the next chairman of the Omi Alliance. I think I'll make the announcement at the next officer's meeting. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You won't regret it.
でいこうそれでは Me. Sometimes all you need is a lip. Yeah, I bet this has nothing to do with being hot. Hey, man. It's like lettuce. Anyway, okay when... then. Whatever goes good with Sanchu, let's order that. Oh yeah, crispy pork and crunchy Sanchu. Now there's a match made in heaven. <laughs> I see you've picked the right dish. Congratulations. <laughs> What can I say? Delicious. Arigato, ne? いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。So you came, Ichiban Kasuga. You seem to know me, but I don't know crap about you. Don't you think that's a little unfair? Didn't peg you as someone who gets hung up on little stuff. There's nothing little about it. Isn't it normal to wonder that kind of shit? Okay, how about this? You can learn who I am, or what Ryo Aoki is up to. Pick one. Want to know more about me? Or more about his next move. 
I came here to learn about the shit that'll make a difference. Good choice. But I have one condition. <sighs> what now? I want to see for myself whether you and your friends are worthy of the information I have. Unfortunately for you, I've always used my fists to get to know someone. Yeah, well... Normally I'm the same, but... I can't afford that now. You have the info I need. Just share it with me already. Why would I? Because lately... I've just lost a lot of people I care about, and it sucks. I can't trust myself now. If I fight you, I don't know if I could even hold back. Listen, I could end up killing you. Hmm. <laughs> Good. I'll take it. What the fuck? I'm not kidding around, man! If that's what you want, that's what I'll do. <laughs> the treasure you're after is right up there. I'm the dragon guarding it. So defeat me. If you really think you're the hero it belongs to. You're going down! Come at me then! Bastard shifted his stance again. What the hell? Huh? <laughs> Get serious. Take this. A gift for you. You're gonna be in a world of hurt. Damn. Now we're talking. You're in for it now. Watch this. Let's get it done! 
get serious. Check this out! Nice crap. Give him hell! Well... You're 